All right, episode two of the top 10 advantages of being an introvert. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome back. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we are talking about number two of the 10 advantages of being an introvert. And that is we are really good observers. We take the time to sort of contemplate things. We're deep thinkers. Um, So that gives us sort of an advantage of the world around us, I believe. So my father and I used to go to the beach and people watch. My father was also an introvert. My mother's an extrovert. And it was just really cool. Just we didn't say anything. We weren't really having a conversation with we, with each other, but we were just kind of watching people and watching what kind of thoughts about those people would come through our heads or what have you. And I think that's a really good skill to have is to be able to observe the people around you. That's what makes uh, introverts really awesome is that we have that talent. And um, if you think about all of the greatest scientists and actors, musicians, writers, they have all been introverts. Why? Because they're able to tap into something that doesn't exist outside of our consciousness. It's something that we have to go into and really you know, dive deep to pull out something really creative. So I think that is an introvert superpower, is being an observer. Um, we don't, we usually, talk, or I I should say, we usually think before we speak, which is a really good quality. Some extroverts don't really have that quality. They kind of sort of throw up on you, whatever's in their brain. Um, when we meet people, it's, we don't instantly show our personality, not on purpose. It's, that's just part of being an introvert. There's a full spectrum of our personality, but we don't always show it to people that we don't feel that we vibe with automatically. Sometimes people totally turn us off at the first meeting. Sometimes the second or third time we meet, we feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, The energy we feel that we can kind of jive with, but it takes us a minute, okay? It takes us a minute to kind of get that sort of comfortable ability. Is that a word, comfortability? To be comfortable around people because we observe their energies. And to me, we kind of tap into that sixth sense where we kind of get a feel for people and we can kind of judge a person Uh, or I hate to use the word judge, but judgment is good. We need to have judgment. We can kind of sense a person's character because of that time that we have to kind of, you know, get to know who they are. We do ask questions, but just that energy that we kind of pass between us, we are sensitive to that. Uh, So that's number two. We are super, super awesome observers. So let me know if you agree. If you're an introvert, put in the comments whether you agree with, uh, that part of being an introvert, the the observation, the deep thinking. And if you have any experiences of meeting people that totally turned you off and then other people where your energies just vibed quickly. So I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.